Dear children, welcome to the video class. Grade 6, Science, Chapter 4, Sorting of Materials into Groups, Revision. Dear children of Grade 6, welcome to the next revision class. In this revision class, we are going to revise the Chapter 4. That is sorting materials into groups. Okay, let me say the main points. Okay, listen carefully children. Okay, so what is meant by sorting? Sorting means separating out. Okay, so we can separate on the basis of various properties. Okay, then come to the table 4.1. Okay, 4.1 tells that an object may be made of different materials. For example, plate can be made up of steel, it may be also made up of glass and may, it may be also made up of plastics. Okay, so what does it mean? Means an object may be made of different kinds of materials. Okay children, so this is very important. Now let us go for the main thing, let us go for the topic 4.2 that is properties of materials. Okay, so listen children carefully. Materials are sorted out. They are arranged into groups based on their properties. Now we are going to see these properties. Okay, listen children. In this many questions may be asked like on man out. Okay, so more possibility is that to ask on man out. Okay, we have done in the fifth standard itself. Okay, four words will be given. Okay, four words will be given. In those four words, three, three words will be similar. Okay, one will be different. You have to find out which is one and you have to write. Okay, children, have you all understood? Yes. Okay, so as you are writing in one mark, there is no need to state the reasons. Okay, listen carefully. In first standard, you will be writing in two marks. So, you will be telling the odd man out and you will be telling the reasons for what is the reason for the being God. Okay, so in this terminal test, you just write the odd one. Okay, no need to write the reasons. Okay, just you select the odd one and write. No need to write the reasons. Okay, list, let us see the appearance. Okay, appearance means we can sort out into lustrous and non-lustrous. Okay, lustrous and non-lustrous. Lustrous means shiny, non-lustrous means non-shiny. Okay, listen children, all the metals are shiny in nature. Okay, iron, copper, aluminium, they are shiny in, shiny in nature. Okay, wood is non-shiny, that is it is non-lustrous. Okay, listen children, I will frame a question like this. Okay, the question is on man out. Okay, I will be giving four words for you. The first one is iron, the second one is wood, the third one is aluminium and the fourth one is gold. Okay, which is the odd one here? Iron, wood, aluminium, gold. Okay, so the correct one is wood. Because wood is non lustrous the other three are lustrous okay so like this you have to frame many questions as possible and you have to learn okay children okay next let's see harness okay in the harness there are two types okay in the harness there are two types the first one is soft other one is hot okay the first one is soft and the other one is hot okay soft means they can be compressed easier example sponges soft okay hard means they it is difficult to compress okay example stone is hard okay iron is hard okay in this also you can frame on man out on many questions and you can learn okay listen children okay or you did you understand okay next we are going to see the next topic soluble and insoluble okay soluble and insoluble for example, salt is soluble in water. Sand is insoluble in water. Why salt is soluble in water? Okay, because salt completely disappears in water. If we add 
Water to salt means we cannot see the salt. So that's why it is soluble. Okay. Sand is insoluble. Why sand is insoluble? If we add water to sand means we can see the sand. Sand does not disappear. So it is insoluble. Okay. In this also many odd man out will be asked. Okay. I will be telling a question. You tell me the answer. Okay. Sand. Copper sulfate. Salt, sugar, sand, copper sulfate, salt, sugar. Which is the odd one here? Salt. Why? Salt is insoluble. The other three that is copper sulfate, salt and sugar are soluble in water. Okay children. So like this many questions will be asked. Okay. Then let us go for the next topic. Miscible and immiscible. Okay, miscible and immiscible. Okay, miscible means, okay, they completely mix with water. Okay, liquids, they completely mix with another liquids. Okay, for example, oil do not mix with water. So, that is immiscible. Milk, milk is a liquid. It mixes very well with water. So, it is miscible. Okay, children. So, in this also, they may ask one more question or odd man out. Choose the best answer like that. Okay, you have to read the question, understand and you have to write the correct answer. Okay, so some gases are also soluble in water. Okay, the next one is objects may float or sink in water. Okay, for this okay so what to say okay you can see this one okay you can see the figure okay see some materials they are floating in water and some materials they are sinking in water key sinks in water coin sinks in water then dried leaves okay wood they will float in water okay children have you all understood the next one is we are going to see transparent materials Translucent materials and opaque materials. Okay. So, translucent materials, transparent and opaque. First, let us see transparency. Okay. Transparency means, okay, I have already marked I think so. Okay. Substance or materials through which things can be seen. Okay. For example, glass is transparent, water is transparent, air and some plastics are transparent we can see what is inside that okay see the glass bottles in your shop or example for transparent substances the opposite to that one is opaque okay so we cannot see what is inside that okay for example wooden box cardboard or examples of opaque materials okay the other one is translucent okay the other one is translucent okay so translucent are the materials okay we cannot see what is inside clearly but we can see partially okay somewhat we can see so that materials are called translucent materials example is okay butter sheet and oiled paper Okay, so these are the examples of translucent materials. In this also, they may ask many odd men, but odd men out. Okay, so in this chapter, there is many possibility for asking odd one out. Okay, so you have to be very thorough and you have to write the correct answer. Okay, children. Yes. Then one more thing. So why grouping is essential? Okay, why grouping is essential? Why sorting is essential? Okay, the answer is, what is your answer? Okay, so what does the answer means? Dividing materials into groups makes it convenient to study their properties. Okay, if we divide means we can easy to study their properties. So, this that's why grouping is essential. Okay, children, have you all understood children? So, will you get good marks? Okay, so prepare as much questions as possible and you get good marks in the term exam 1. Okay, children, if you have any doubt, you message me 
I will be answering your questions. Okay, children. Have a nice day. Thank you.